take the difference and then you find what percent that is of the original. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Following those guidelines, find the difference. How do I do that? Subtract. Okay. So I'm subtracting what? How about 155,000 minus? this year than last year. Okay? So now you have to find what percent of 135,000, because that's the original, is 20,000. So for me, I would set up a proportion. 20,000, because that's the part. 135,000. Because that's the whole of the original from last year. What percent, right? Cross multiply 135,000 times x. Susie, can I interrupt briefly? Yeah. Why don't we simplify that fraction first? Okay. How do I simplify this, this fraction? Yes, yeah, so I'll just do it. Divide by 1,000, cross out three zeros. 20. Over 135. 100. So, what do I do now? Yeah, cross multiply. 100 yeah. times 20 is? 2,000. And 135 x, right? How do I solve for x? Divide by 135. Both sides. What is that? It's going to be a good one. Calculators, people. 14 what? 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 Place, what does that become? 14.8%. What if it says to the nearest whole percent? 15. Good. Yeah. Yeah, just for clarification, you don't round down. Rounding down actually doesn't exist. You're either keeping it the same or you're rounding up. No questions? What? Yeah, so if you have, I mean, how do you round that to the nearest whole number? 15, right? You wouldn't round it to 14, right? Because that's not close. You 
round it to 15. So like it's 5 or... So... If it's 4 or below, it stays 15. If it's 5 or above, it goes to 6. Okay. Anybody have any questions? Otherwise, we're going to let you lose for about 40 minutes to do your mind math test study plan. Last chance to ask questions on percents, decimals. All right, hit it.